Now, I'm sure you were thinking, man, I want to know how to write the equation of an inverse. Well, guess what? You're about to find out. You are in luck, that's for sure. First things first, I'm the realist. And we need to switch the x's and y's just like we did earlier on. But now, we're actually switching the variables x and y's. And then we're going to resolve that equation for y. Let's see how that works. Now hopefully remember, you know, f of x, g of x, and h of x, or anything of x. Basically, we replaced y when we did that. So essentially we have y equals 3x minus 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch the x and y. So what I'm going to have now is x equals 3y minus 2. And now I'm just going to resolve the equation for y. Well, first things first, I'm going to add the 2. I get x plus 2 equals 3y. Then I'm going to divide by 3 and I'm left with y equals x plus 2 over 3. Or if we want to put it so it looks like it's in slope intercept form, we'll have y equals, well, x divided by 3 is the same as 1 third x plus 2 over 3. And this is our inverse. So we're going to have a little negative 1 above that y that notates that it's the inverse. Since we're dealing with an h of x here, we can write our inverse function as h to the negative 1 of x equals 1 third x plus 2 thirds. Alright. Now I would accept either x plus 2 over 3 or the 1 third x plus two-thirds in a short answer. However, you'll most likely see it written like this on multiple choice to be able to re recognize either one.